Hi YouTube friends and teachers and homeschoolers. Uh, this is Elizabeth with an S here with another science activity that you can do very inexpensively <clears throat> in your classroom or at home. So this activity is called the clap trap and basically the science of this activity is the conversion of kinetic energy into sound. So hopefully before you've done this, you've already talked to your students. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a bit of a cold. Um, you've talked to your students about how the different types of energies, obviously, and how energy can be converted from one type into another. And so this uh, activity will illustrate kinetic energy, which is the energy of movement, into sound. There are some other energies involved that you could um, do as you progress with the activity, like there's elastic energy. And um, so what you need for this activity is you need some cardboard and you can just use any old basic cardboard. If you have a box lying around at home, you can cut that up and uh, you need a rubber band. Um, obviously scissors to do the cutting. So if your child is a bit young or your students are a bit young, you might want to prepare the um, pieces of cardboard ahead of time and they should be four centimeters by five centimeters and that's like um, four inches by mm, maybe three and a half ish inches. Um, let me just measure that real quick. That is um, actually one and a half inches by two inches. Sorry about that. I mixed up my conversions. So um, two inches by one and a half inches for the cardboard. And you need two pieces of cardboard and you also need a rubber band. So this one's a bit big. I'm probably going to have to double it. But um, you can use loose rubber bands in this activity as well. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to, as I've indicated here in the cardboard, kind of in the middle of the shorter side, you're going to cut two notches in there like that. And again, you're, you're depending on the age of the children doing this activity, you may need to assist them with this. Um, if their scissor skills are not quite where they need to be. Um, so, you're going to end up with two pieces of cardboard looking like that. And what you're going to do is you're going to place the cardboards one on top of each other, and then you're going to wrap the rubber band around it in the notches. And as you can see, my rubber band is too big, so I'm just going to wrap it around hmm, maybe three times. <laughs> So it fits like that, okay? And so what's going to happen here is you're going to gently open the cards like you're gonna open a book and uh, hopefully my cardboard won't bend. Okay, rubber band's too tight. Let's loosen it up a little bit. So it's a good idea to try out your materials beforehand before you give it to the kids. Um, but it could be another learning experience, like why didn't this activity work? All right, so let me give that a try. So I'm gonna take it and twist it around like that. So basically what's gonna happen is when you let it go, it will snap like that and make a sound. So the end result should be that snapping sound that we just saw. Um, if you have the right kind of rubber band, obviously this one is not, and maybe a little bit of a stiffer cardboard, maybe more of a box. This is not from a box, this is from something else. Um, you probably can have a bit more of a dramatic effect, but you've seen what happens there. Um, you can then start talking to your students or your kids about what actually is happening. How did we get the sound to come from this thing, this little claptrap? Um, so they can, you can make them bigger if you feel you want to make them bigger, but I think this size is okay. Um, so 
really what's happening is it should be obvious that the sound that's coming from the the device, the clap trap, is um, noise that's produced because the two pieces of cardboard are clapping against each other. Um, and so it's obviously going to be clear to the students that the rubber band somehow is causing them to clap against each other. But the question you want to ask them is how? Okay, so for you, the teacher, basically what's happening is when the rubber band is stretched around like that, it's going to have energy stored into it. This is called elastic energy. Anything that stretches is elastic energy. When the clap trap is thrown, the elastic energy is going to be converted into kinetic energy. And the kinetic energy is the energy of movement. So the elastic energy causes movement, causes the movement of the um, cardboard pieces. And that's going, that kinetic energy is going to cause the cards to flip over into back into their original position. And the kinetic energy is then converted into sound energy, which is why you hear the clap. So that's kind of like the science behind what's actually happening here. So a couple of things that you can do is, and you, and you can actually see this with mine because it's not really working uh, as ideal as I would have liked it to, um, make the clap trap with a loose rubber band. So mine's a bit loose, so you can see how difficult it is for the elastic energy to be converted into kinetic energy. Um, you could try a tighter one. Ask the students um, what kind of differences do they notice between um, a normal tension on the rubber band, um, loose tension, and extra tight tension. Ask them to see if they can explain what the differences are between those. Um, so a tip for you is that the greater the tension, the more elastic energy, therefore the more kinetic energy, therefore the, perhaps the louder the sound. Um, <clears throat> so the, if the energy never gets destroyed, okay, because if you've been talking about conversion of energy, you know that the law, one of the laws of energy is that energy is neither created nor destroyed. So it's, if it's never created nor destroyed, only converted, where did the original energy come from to go into the elastic band? Where did the elastic energy actually come from in the first place? Um, so that's something that you can ask the students sort of for um, a, a go further type of situation or maybe homework assignment. Um, ask them to take it home and figure out how does this elastic, uh, this rubber band get the elastic energy. Um, in it. So for you, the teacher, obviously it's coming from the person who's stretching it. So um, you can even talk about chemical energy being converted into the mechanical energy that I'm using to actually stretch the rubber band. And that causes, that is now putting the elastic energy into the rubber band, which then gets converted into the um, kinetic energy and then into sound energy. So um, this is a physics physics ooh, physics assignment that you can do as related to the conversion of kinetic energy into sound. You can also do this if you are talking about sound, um, whether it is sound as related to physics or sound as related to the ear and how we hear things. It can kind of work a little bit for both of those. And it's a fun little engaging very inexpensive activity that you can do with your students. So I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have other activities that you um, would like to share in relation to the conversion of energies, please put those in the comments below for other teachers to um, see or the link where they could find them. Um, please subscribe to my channel um, so that way you can get notifications when I do post another uh, video. And if you have any topics that you think you might want a quick little inexpensive activity for, please also put that in the comments below and I will see what I can do. I can't promise, but um, you know, I just want to build a bank of inexpensive, fun, engaging, quick activities that a teacher or a homeschooling parent could do 
very simply to explain some sort of science concept. So hope you have a great day and I hope you've enjoyed that.